Work on things that people can't take away from you. Things like your character, personality, and your entire being. Hey girl, hey. So as you can see, we're gonna start off with the hair. And my hair is freshly washed and blow dry. Usually when I'm gonna put my hair in a ponytail or something, I don't usually wash it. But since we're gonna do bangs, we wanna make sure that the hair is nice and fresh so that the bangs are not too oily or too stiff. So I'm gonna start off by sectioning out my bangs and you don't wanna take out too much hair to be quite honest. I feel like I took a little bit too much out but it's okay, it still turned out good. And you wanna make sure that your parting is nice and straight so that it could look neat. So now that I got my bangs out, I'm just gonna give it a little braid to separate it from the rest of my hair. So now I'm gonna take my pintail comb and I'm gonna make a little parting down the middle of my head. So that way when I do my bangs, I get both like connect. So now I'm gonna put my hair in a ponytail and I like to use a comb to help brush it in while I'm doing that because it does help to make the hair look more flat. So before we do anything else, we're going to take our baby hairs down. So now I'm going to apply some Maury's beeswax to slick my hair down. And I'm going to go in with my soft brush and just brush that in. So now I'm gonna go over that with some black styling gel. And as you can see, I'm using my tail comb to apply the gel, especially around the edges so that I don't get any products on my bangs. And now I'm just using my soft brush to brush that in. And make sure you get the back of your head as well. Alright, so it's time to get into these edges. And today I'll be using my True Edge Controller. And I'm basically applying that around my edges. <laughs> And you know when we do our edges we gotta go in with our good old toothbrush and i love this toothbrush y'all i got it from jamaica it is like the best edge brush like hands down if you're jamaican or you've been to jamaica before and you've used the toothbrushes down there then you know exactly what i mean like it is the perfect edge brush like the brush is so stiff and hard like i don't know what they be brushing off their teeth down there but baby like it comes in handy for them edges every time my mom goes back home i always tell her to bring a pack back because it keeps them edges laid trust me it's the best like you have to try it So 
So now I'm gonna go ahead and lock everything in with the Gots to Be Free spray. So now it's time to flat iron my hair and as you can see, I'm going in with my argan oil. So now I'm gonna split my bangs down the middle and you wanna make sure that it lines up with the other part and then I'm gonna go ahead and run the flat iron through it. And now I'm going to run my flat iron through my ponytail. So now that my hair is nice and straight, I'm going to go ahead and pin it up with this claw clip, which is like a clean girl's number one staple piece. All right, so now it's time to get into the makeup and I'm gonna start by prepping my face. As you can see, I'm going in with my spoolie and I'm just brushing my brows up. Now I did laminate my brows just for this video so that I can really give that clean girl look. So now I'm gonna go in with my Mint Mattifying Face Mist by The Body Shop. So now I'm going to go ahead and prime my face with my Smashbox Photo Finish Primer. So let's get into these brows. Today I'm going to apply some Gots To Be Goo Gel to my brows. And I'm just going to brush it upwards to achieve this wispy, thicker, fuller looking brow. So next I'm going in with my NYX Lift & Snatch Brow Pencil. Okay, so we're not gonna do too much for the brows. We're just gonna go in and fill in where it needs to be filled in. And as you can see, I'm doing little hair-like strokes so that it doesn't look too shaded in and it looks more natural. So this is what my brows are looking like. So now I'm gonna go ahead and clean up my brows and I am going in with my NARS concealer in the shade Walnut. So I chose this concealer because it's one of like my darkest shades of concealer. You wanna use something that is brightening and not so white, like it's close to your skin tone, but just a little bit lighter. To achieve that clean girl look, you want to use very minimal makeup and nothing too dramatic. I also like to go in and clean up the bottom top half of my brows because I like when it looks nice and sharp. So now I'm going to go ahead and blend that out with my flat brush. And now I'm taking this other flat brush from Eco Tools just to blend the top bottom half out. So now I'm going to go in with my Fenty Beauty Instant Retouch Concealer in the shade 345, which is like a medium deep with a warm olive undertone. And I'm just going to apply that under my eyes and like in areas where I have like darker spots. And I'm just going to blend that out with my Beauty Blender. I'm also going to apply some to my eyelids and just blend that out. So 
So now I'm going in with my Charlotte Tilbury Hollywood Flawless Filter in the shade 6.5 Deep. And I'm just going to use the bottom of my Beauty Blender and blend that out. So this product right here is not a foundation, but you can use it as a foundation. And you can also apply it over your foundation just to get that nice glow. I love this product because it looks very skin light and it's very minimal, which is what we're going for. So now we're going back into my NARS concealer in the shade Wana, and I'm just going to apply that under my eyes and all over my other highlighted areas. And it's time to blend that out. So now I'm going to go in with my makeup by Mario Soft Sculpt Shape and Stick. And I'm just going to put some color back into my face. And now we're going to go ahead and blend that out. So now I'm going in with my Rare Beauty Stay Vulnerable Melting Cream Blush in the shade True Pink. Just look how pretty this looks. So I'm going to take the bottom of my Beauty Blender and just apply it to my cheeks. This is like my favorite part of doing my makeup and it wouldn't be a clean girl look without some blush. Now I know that I applied a lot of blush, but now we're gonna tone it down with my Laura Mercier Translucent Setting Powder, which is also gonna set it in place. So now I'm just taking my Beauty Blender to my eyes just to make sure that I'm not creasing, and then I'm gonna follow up with my Laura Mercier Setting Powder in the shade Honey to set everything in place. You see the difference? Now I'm gonna do the other side off camera. And now we're gonna warm our face up some more with my makeup by Mario Soft Sculpting Bronzer. And now I'm going to add some more blush by Milani in the shade Dose Pink. Look how pretty this looks. So now I'm going to go back into my bronzer and just snatch my nose.
and i'm also gonna go into the top part of this bronzer which is very shimmery just to add in some highlights So now I'm going to go in with this Animal Eyes palette by Sephora and I'm going to go in into that very dark brown shade right there. I'm also going to take this angle brush and I'm going to create a soft blurred out looking wing line with it. And now I'm going to go in with my e.l.f. liquid liner just to sharpen my wing. And now we're going to set our face with our e.l.f. matte magic mist and setting spray. So now we're going to go in with some lashes by Ardell and it's called Light as Air because we want to keep the look very natural. And for lips, I'm going to go in with this lip liner by Annabelle in the shade Chocolate. So now I'm going to apply some Ellie Girls High Shine Shea Butter Lip Gloss in the shade Wink. And we are finished. Alright guys, so this is the finishing look and it's given very much clean girl. I hope you guys enjoyed this video as much as I enjoy making it. Comment down below and let me know what you think. Also give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. I'm out. Bye.